The world's largest religions is gaining followers from a very unlikely community. A growing number of Hispanics are changing their religion and following the teachings of Islam. Tonight, NBC 11's Ethan Harp takes a closer look at why faith doesn't always equal tradition. Sundown, one of the five times each day when Muslims gather to answer the call to prayer. This woman is among them. Her name is Raquel. She's 25, a senior in college, and part of a growing trend. Hispanics joining the Islamic faith. My mother raises pretty strict Catholic. Yet in recent years, her studies and the war in Iraq opened her eyes to Muslims. Her interest came, went, and returned. And uh, a year ago, I felt the need again. So I decided to actually look further into Islam. Until she finally converted once and for all just before last year's Ramadan. Doing so puts her in a growing group. Rough estimates from the Council on American Islamic Relations put the number of Hispanic Muslims at just 20,000 five years ago. Today, that number is 75 to 100,000. In 96, when I first converted, I mean, I, I literally only knew one. Hispanic convert in the entire mosque and now 50 to 100 easily. Sharif Dorset works with new converts like Raquel. He believes there are strong similarities with Catholicism but without the hierarchy. With more and more Latinos embracing Islam both here and across the country, you might think the Catholic Church would have something to be concerned about. But here in the South Bay, we found a priest with a rather interesting reaction. Obviously, we want everybody to be Catholic. On the other hand, we do want people to be close to God. And if people find closeness to God in Islam, say, I think we would prefer someone to be a good Muslim than to be a non-practicing uh, Catholic. Father Jose Rubio with the Diocese of San Jose hasn't seen much evidence for himself of Hispanics leaving the church for the mosque. But even if some are, he sees no reason for alarm. We just uh, need to be understanding and accepting and seeing this diversity as a gift from God. That can be easier said than done. Raquel describes her mother as being a very tolerant woman, usually. But um, the day I told her that I actually was going to convert, that was a little different. Yeah, she was upset. And I asked her, I said, where's all the talk that, you know, that every, you know, everything's, you know, Everyone has their own way of worshiping God. So um, she was upset at me for a few weeks, but not very long, you know. Um, she came to terms with it. Tolerance is something Muslims like Dorset point to as one of their strengths. In general, there's, there's no real racism in Islam. So, like, uh, I'm a white Muslim and, and treated just like anybody else. In Islam, I found that there's room for all kinds of people. And in Hispanics like Raquel, Muslims hope they have a new voice to spread their form of spirituality. Ethan Harp, NBC 11 News.